Let's double check the arsenal. We got the Jackal egg bucket out over here. Check. We got the big carp net. Check. We got a plane up there. No, I'm just best. We got two rods on this side. One right there for the bigger fish with the bait runner. That's what's up. And we got three more on this side, right? My mom and my dad just hooking the night crawlers right over here. Mm -hmm. It's looking good. It's looking good. I just did five rods out here. Took me about 20 minutes to do it. I am ready, okay, to hit that 100. You know what I'm saying? That is the main objective of the day. Man, I came all the way down here to Washington DC, right? This is the Potomac River over here. For those who are not familiar, just so that we can get in those triple digits. You know what I'm saying? That being said, I brought with me some night crawlers, some red wigglers, but I don't currently have a cut bait, right? So first and foremost, we have to punch some rods out there with the night crawlers and um, try to get some proper cut bait. Five minutes in update. I've been probing the wall around here for smaller species of fish. There is actually plenty of structure down there, but no bait. Now look at that, we got a floating dead fish coming down over here too. What is that? Oh, son, is this what is going on with the Potomac nowadays? Oh yeah, that's a, that's a big blue catfish. Dictalurus furcatus. One of our target species for the day too. Oh, that one's been dead for a while, son. Is this a good sign? Is this a bad sign? Goodness gracious, you all tell me. But for now, going back to catching bait, still need that juicy cut bait to catch these fellas, as a matter of fact. That's a, that's a hit, that's a hit. May have something on the crawler here. Let's see. Is it on? Oh, it's on. So we have something on the crawler. Haven't even got my cut bait yet. First of the fish of the day is coming up. I got circle hook, so I think it's a catfish, little catfish. <laughs> Trying to catch cut bait over here, man. What we got? Yeah. Tiny catfish. Look at that, huh? Yay, bro. We didn't even get, seriously, our cut bait yet. It's species 100 already came up. Look at that. That's a blue catfish, folks. <laughs> Ictalurus furcatus coming with two, three leeches, four leeches under his mouth too. On the night crawler, huh? Didn't even catch the cut bait. The species 100. Nice eating size one too. Well, all right. That one came a little bit easier than expected, huh? So can we just uh, call it a day? Tight lines and see you. I'm just playing, I'm just playing. Easy, easy. We're going to continue the species assessment over here, okay? Fear not, ladies and gentlemen. Species 100 did come rather easily. Look at that blue catfish, Ictalurus furcatus, right? A lot of people actually tend to confuse this particular species of fish with the channel catfish, the Ictalurus punctatus, and you know, within reason, because they are actually very similar to one another, right? And it just so happens that around here at the Potomac River, both species cohabit this environment. So just a tip of the day for you all, okay? For the catfish aficionados, right? If you ever get your catfish and you're not sure which species it is, take a look, okay? At the anal fin over here, all right? You can even count the anal fin, and you're going to know the differences between the channel and the blue, all right? After all, the anal fin ray count is different for both of them. All right, I haven't really caught any bait yet. My mom just caught a fish over there on that side. So I am really, really hoping that that is going to be our cut bait of the day. I'm going to release this little fella. Now, I was going to save this one as cut bait. Ain't gonna lie cannibalism 100 percent all right let me release this one now and i'm gonna go take care 
of my mother's fish all right let's go there check it out well there we have it i just took a photo of my mom with her first ever blue catfish actually i this may not be her first ever i think we went to virginia before and she actually caught a few small blue catfish you know at college creek in virginia you all remember that video that i shot there back in the days right so that fish this may not be a new species for her what about the fauna huh all right i'm gonna release this one over here not a lifer but i decided we're not gonna use this cute little catfish as cut bait all right we will eventually try to get a little sunfish or something from the potomac right but as you all can see even night crawlers come out here with night crawlers mm, do some damage Oh yeah, this is what we need. We need that fat red wiggler on the hook for that juicy multi-species, right? Hopefully a sunfish is going to show up soon. I mean, I still haven't really caught proper bait for today's fishing session. But before we get back to the session today, let your boy Extreme Fillet Fishing give you a few, you know, pieces of knowledge over here that are going to help you on the long term, okay? First and foremost, the blue catfish, Ictalurus furcatus, that we've been catching from the Potomac River today, okay? Those are actually perfect sizes for you to take it back home to eat if you enjoy that kind of stuff, all right? I am not a big fan of taking fish from like the Potomac or the Delaware. I wouldn't recommend anyone to eat bottom feeders in particular from these rivers at all. But Washington DC actually does have fish consumption guidelines online as to how many portions people are supposed to eat per month, right? For the different species of fish here around the area. Remember, selective harvest, okay? You take the big blue cats from over here, that is not good for you. You are going to be poisoning your family with heavy metals and PCBs, polychlorinated biphenyls, which is not good for your health, all right? Number two, we've been using, as you folks can see, bait runners on the big rods, okay? I finally took out my Cast King Pontus, right? That was in the basement for a long, long time. It's got two drag systems, one on top and one below. I be using the one on top because I haven't really caught any cut bait today yet, right? Once we have that cut bait and I'm able to actually cast it in the channel all the way out there in deeper water, maybe we're going to land some double digits blue catfish you know what i'm saying so people always come here on the channel and they're like yo leo what are you going to what are you using on the channel today right listen as always i'm going to leave everything in the description of the video okay it really doesn't cost that much time of your lifetime to go there and read it a little bit so you know all the gear and all the setups and all the bait that i'm using for the day all right that being said it is time to go back to fishing Let's go slay some more species. Wow, I legit just finished shooting this sketch over here. Uh, my dad got a hit. I'm telling you, it's a busy, it's a busy morning out here. Y'all see, everything is out of order. I don't have lines in the water. Yeah, I saw the bite, man. Oh, oh calma, rapaz. <laughs> That's it, nobody getting skunked today, boy, not today. We may not be catching the big sizes, you know what I'm saying? But at least we all catching fish out here. That's what's up. I let my, my dad do, do his own thing, all right? Yeah! Beautiful blue catfish. Okay, what about the phone? Beautiful, beautiful. All right, this fish has been outside of the water for a little bit, so we're gonna do a release now. He said, be careful with the hook. All right. Beautiful blue catfish, Ictalurus furcatus, right? From the Potomac over here, all right? Time to put it back. All right, little fella, it's your lucky day, okay? I don't know if Mr. Hermanos here would like to go like that, okay? Orale, carnal. No mames, pez. Nobody getting skunked, I'll tell that much. 
air traffic over here in DC, pretty heavy too, man. Every time I shoot a sketch, there's a plane <laughs> passing around. You cannot make that up. Uh, Opa. Opa, okay, okay, okay. Maybe our bait is finally coming up. Come on, man, I just need one bluegill. Oh, it's on. Whatever it is, it's on, boy, bluegill! Please, let palm is my crocodile. <laughs> we never want to catch bluegill. Then comes the one day that we actually want. No. No. Hapais. Xiao Huzi. My dad calls it the little. <laughs> my dad calls it the little whiskers, you know? But I mean, it is a different species for today. I I'll tell you that. It is our second species of this video and, uh, and a very dangerous one too because of these fins right over here. This is actually a tiny little channel catfish. I guess today's video is all about catfishing 101, which is really not that bad, right? Catfish folks here on the channel, they do deserve uh, some love. Uh, handling little catfish is actually really tough because of the pectoral fins that they have, right? Which is serrated like that, which means that it can cut you really bad. Not to mention that the different species of catfish out there, they have venom usually on their fins too. So dorsal fin, okay, and pectoral fin, you really, really have to watch out. Handling this little fella, you know what it reminds me of? When I was back in Brazil catching those genidens, genidens, and those white sea catfish too, right? The genidens barbus. Oh, it was a pain in the butt handling those tiny ones. But anyway, there you have it. This is a tiny channel catfish. And I know that because this fish has dots, black dots on its body, right? Even if I wanted to use this particular species for cut bait today, here in Washington DC, I can't because that species of fish is only three a day with a minimum of 12 inches and that's why it is extremely important for anglers out there okay to know how to differentiate the different species of fish if you don't you're gonna be catching your fish out there and how do you even know if you can take them as bait or for food table fare right all right that being said it is a beautiful out, a beautiful day out here at the potomac okay my dad and my mom they're having a lot of fun i selected this particular spot just so you all know because there are trees around here for shade if they need and there's a restroom right back there right the only things that have been annoying me well you guys just heard it right there air traffic that's number one one right over there one right over there right and sometimes a few rowers that will pass around here very close to your fishing lines so you need to watch out for that too other than that everything's good we hit 100 i'm just gonna chill for the rest of the day time to rebait the rods over here and still see if we can catch some cut bait finally Bro, what? What? Hapa! Oh. <laughs> you can't make that up! You can't make that up! Okay, okay, easy, easy. I'm looking up regulations for the white perch in the sea because I'm not so sure if I can take it or not. Always got to look up the regulations first, right? And then I'm getting hits on the little rod. You yeah, remember, thing's so small, it didn't get hooked. Oh, maybe it is on. Maybe it is on after all. Some real tiny stuff biting out there now. Is it finally the bluegill that we're looking for? Oh yeah, come in clutch. Sir, yes sir, look at that man. When the bait fish comes, it comes, right? We got here the white perch that I just caught on the big rod when I wasn't even looking to catch bait, okay? And now we got a bluegill. <laughs> hey, 
Now we got an off cut bait. Look at that, huh? Lipomis macrocutus right over here. And this one, I didn't even unhook it because I just wanted to show you all that this was actually in the mouth. Okay, check that out. Morone americana, right? No kidding, that circle hook is through its mouth, man. It's through its mouth. Uh, you know what? I want to be basic today. Let's be let's be YouTube basic today. All right. Let's do a little thumbnail over here real quick. Okay, with the little head cut bait. I'm just gonna type it on here. Uh, fishing the Potomac River with cut bait or pursuing species 100. There we have it. All right. People actually have different preferences for the part of the fish they want to use for cut bait. I personally really like to use the head. I got a circle hook over here too, right? It is time to cast this baby, the Pontus, way out there for real. And you know, use the down drag. So, ah, fly! All right, I mean, that's not that bad considering the pound test that I'm using on this rod right here. So, all right, all the way out there. And you see, this is how the bait runner works, right? After you picked up this lag over here, all you need to do is look, press this button. It's on the down drag. When you hear this thing going out, right? Don't need to set the hook, just reel. The drag's gonna go down and the fish is going to get hooked. That's a big one. That's a big one. That's a big one. It's a big one. You can't quite make That's a big one. He almost got spooled too, because I, I asked him if if I you know if he wanted. Dude, he 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 went full mode on the drag. I don't think that was a very smart move, but my dad does what he wants to do, you know. Dang, dude, he locked that drag, bro. I asked him if, if he wanted me to re-spool the line on that rod before we came to DC. And he was like, no, man, I'm just gonna, you know, roll with it. I'm like, okay. That's a nice one. Did you all see that drag there? He says he's not that big. I'm gonna go grab the net. I'm gonna go grab the net real quick over here, man. This may be the moment that we're finally going to, you know, wet the net. Sound la. Oh, it's a blue catfish. Yeah, it's a blue catfish. Usually they come to the surface and they do that little belly flop, death row kind of thing. Let me see, I don't see it yet. Oh yeah, this is uncut. This is uncut. I'm not cutting this footage. Oh, 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 rapaz, easy. Easy, eu forte, bravo, bravo. Is it Yongqiu or is it Yongyu? Wow, a nightcrawler crawler too. Okay, one I want. Oh yeah, ta. It's a nicer one. My man, my man, oh. That's a much nicer one than the ones that we caught today so far. Let's put the phone Okay, okay. I got it, I got it. There we go. Oh, garoto. This is, this is much bigger than this ones we've been catching today so far. <laughs> <laughs> look, look, look at that! And he said, this is a shallow spot. I told him, man. It's like, <laughs> it's like a taba. Taba. Dude. All right, let's wait this one too. All right, that's beautiful. I just gave this fish a little bit more of water. I'm the one shaking, even though I didn't catch it. That's a nice fish right here. One, what's your Nala? We'll have to pardon my father because he cannot get a fish with one hand, right? Because of his stroke. So I asked my mom to grab it with both hands. As you folks know, with bigger species of fish, you are really not supposed to get the fish in a full vertical position with one hand. So all right, I'm gonna give it a little bit more of water over here. It's been outside a little bit for photo shoots and it is summertime, so water temp is really high. I want this fish to go away it's strong, right? These are the hardships of, uh, of doing YouTube and social media. When you don't do it, you don't need to take the shots and everything. But when you do it, 
you don't have to worry about the safety of the fish. All right, there we go. You all ready? I'm just gonna throw it back like that. Dude, look how thick this fish is. All right, two hands. All right, back it goes, just like that. <laughs> Strong. Got a nice shot of it too. That is what's up. Coimba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that is what's up, ladies and gentlemen. That is what's up. I could not have asked for a better way of finishing this fishing session out here today. I mean, if you're watching this YouTube video right now, and you know, even extreme for the fishing, we both know that the blue catfish, the Ictalurus forcatus, is a species that easily grows into double digits, right? 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds. You hear people catching them by the dozens out there in the United States of America. Sometimes, once in a blue moon, you read on the news, record blue catfish, triple digits, 100 pounds plus. I mean, it is a species that is a valuable resource, game fishing wise, in the community. Highly underappreciated. And the beauty behind it is that I didn't really tell any of this to my mom and my dad, right? So they just landed this little eight pounder over here and they really think that they caught the king of the Potomac River, you know what I'm saying? And that is the beauty behind it. When I shoot these videos and I post it on the channel, a lot of people tend to comment under the comments, you know, like, I've caught bigger, that's tiny, that's bait, right? People don't realize, man, that size is relative, right? It is really what makes you happy at the end of the day. Regardless of the size of fish, trophy, no trophy, did you all see the smiles that we got on camera here? In this video, from my mom and my dad, for me, personally, that is what counts most at the end of the day. And I have two more, two more days here in Washington, D.C., right? So, I mean, tomorrow, the day after, we may just land those double digits with the cut bait that I have right now. I'm going to leave the numbers up here on the screen, okay? We achieved our main objective of the day. We're at 100, the purple number, right over there. Next step, we're going to go towards 150. Oh, heck yeah! The quest for the species doesn't just stop because we hit triple numbers, right? Triple digits. Not to mention that we did catch four different species of fish from the Potomac today. So a very nice start for our Washington DC trip. All right, fellas, we're gonna fish a little bit more out here, then go get some juicy lunch a little restroom break, hydration break, sun break, right? I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Tight lines and take it easy.